don't miss out on the special offer from my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They're currently giving you 20% off if you use my coupon code Poodle at checkout and also giving you an additional 10% coins. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video. And guys, today we got Madden 20 news. We got about just about everything we're going to need for the first week that you guys probably want to know. We got the Mutt Master, Power Passes, some Base Elite Overalls, some Coin Quick Sell that they dropped in there, which isn't exactly that relevant because we don't know how we're going to get them yet. But there's some really good news that we already know. I'm, I'm a little late to the news. People have already posted it, but I know I have some people on here that maybe haven't seen those videos yet and just try to get some, some new fans, you know, some new reach right now. So try to get this kicked off for Madden 20. So first off, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe because Madden 20 is out in two days, and I will definitely be grinding once that comes out. Now, let me change on over to all the leaks. So first off, guys, we have the Madden 20 Mutt Master. If you see right here, we got Pat Tillman. Now, if you don't know who Pat Tillman was, I believe he was on the Cardinals or the... I believe it was the Cardinals. Yeah, you can see right here. He was... He played for a little bit. He was pretty good. And then he switched over to the Army and he ended up dying in the Army. If you guys played Madden 13, you remember Pat Tillman was a tribute card. They had like an 85 overall, a blue a blue border around him. He was like a free card you can just get from the store. He was probably a couple hundred coins, maybe a thousand. I forgot what it was. But he was pretty good. We haven't seen him in Madden for quite a quite some time now but it's gonna be pretty awesome having a free safety i believe he's gonna be playing in madden 20 only because usually the master has been a linebacker a running back one of those uh, kind of positions and the thing that sucks about those positions is that linebackers are very fun positions to always have every year you like to have the wagners the keekleys some of the legends like you know, it's always fun to pick your own user linebacker so with shazier as awesome as he was you were stuck to him all year because it didn't make sense with shazier and ray lewis it made didn't make much sense to have anyone else there so, in the case of Pat Tillman, he has a free safety. Free safeties are typically very expensive, if you guys know. And there's like Earl Thomas is always like crazy expensive to start. So, I'm actually happy about a free safety. I don't, th he's, I don't think he's that small. I think he's like regular height. So, he'll be a nice free safety to lock up there all year. Then you got to worry about the strong. So, that's not too bad. I prefer that over a running back because, again, running back too also kind of sucks because when it's a running back, you kind of stuck to Ricky Williams all year. It didn't make much sense to use another running back other than him just for the purpose of that he always had the best stats and it was just kind of a waste of money to go elsewhere. Now, here you see the level cap looks to be 50 on launch. I believe that was just like last year, but that does mean the grind to max level is 50, so it's not exactly the easiest thing to grind to. So if you're an average player that plays here and there, probably won't hit that for like a month or two. If you're going to be grinding the first month, probably hit it within a month. Now, if you're going to be like me, who's trying to, you know, show you guys the stuff on YouTube and trying to be, create content, I'll probably be trying to get this done in about two to three weeks can't promise anything it's going to be it's not going to be the easiest thing to grind out but i'm going to be up many many nights trying to grind it out now here just a silver player reward nothing too big there in my opinion uh 10 trophy rewards so obviously there's going to be trophies are back i mean we could have expected that just with how madden runs trophies are kind of a big part of madden here you see a power pass 62 to 81 overall see people are kind of like that's a crap power pass but it really isn't especially when you're no money spent because with this year, elites are going to be much lower overalls than in years past. Like As you see, the trend of Madden in the last few years has been to bring base elites down lower, which gives more room for expansion later in the year. You kind of People hate it, but you kind of want it to be lower in the beginning because everyone's going to have lower cards, so it's going to be evenly, even competitively when it comes to cards you have. But it gives it more time to, to mature as the year goes on. So instead of giving us like 90 overalls day one, the lower you keep the majority of the cards, the more upgraded cards will be more useful and the longer Madden can last, like the longevity of it. Now the 81 could be, it could be simple. Like last year there was a Jamal Adams, 81 overall elite. You can power up Jamal Adams for like literally like 2K coins and then just use the power pass and have the base elite Jamal. And I imagine these 81s will be more expensive than in years past because of the lim how limited it is. Now if you click into these, we got the Mutt level pack. So at 82 overall, now you can see that I believe that is Juju Smith-Schuster and George Kittle, so they are obviously 82 overall elites, which isn't bad because that pack right there, you can get a nice receiver to start, which is a depth position, or a tight end, which is another depth position. And then here you can get Cam Newton, which means he's an 80 overall, and that looks to be training and a quick sell. So it's going to be very similar. The base of Madden to start is going to be very similar to Madden 19 in terms of how they give away players, how players are in the level of packs. This is probably the first level of pack. I don't believe that will be the level 50 pack because that's kind of low for level 50. It's probably more like a level 20, level 30, if anything. And here we got the Series 1 gold reward. So that's obvious. This is obviously the pro packs you get for leveling up. Series 1 has George Kittle on the cover, but those are just the standard packs. And then solos, obviously, which we don't know what those are yet. 
Now, or reward 10k quick sell. Those are probably for leveling up also, which is pretty cool. Or it could be for objectives. Either or, it doesn't really matter. But that's pretty good. 10k coins in the beginning. It's definitely a lot of coins. Power pass again. Theme selector. I'm not entirely sure what that is. That could be the, the team diamonds because you can see the diamonds in the back. I'm not entirely sure on that just yet. And then I believe this is... Oh, so here we got more level of packs. We got... I believe that is Joey Bosa and Darius Leonard. Could be wrong. And then here we got... Ooh, is that Daniel Hunter or is that um, Griffin? Everson Griffin. It's one of the two. But either way, another good end. Good end. So it's just like... Because like if you guys remember... Sorry for cutting my words there. If you guys remember last year, every level up typically had a theme for position. So like it'd be a wide receiver pack or an offensive pack or a quarterback pack or a defensive pack. So it looks like this is going to be the defensive one with the D lineman specifically. So that's end. An outside linebacker, an end, and I imagine it's probably a defensive tackle within there. Now, if we keep scrolling up, we get more level of packs. That is Saquon Barkley. He's an 83 overall, so we know that's confirmed now. Kind of low for Saquon, but you know what? That might be a great pack. When I get that pack, Aaron Rodgers or Saquon might be having to go Saquon there, especially if there's going to be no running back Mutt Master. Now, I like that a lot. See, it makes it useful to have Saquon Barkley. And if I'm not mistaken, that is Brandon Cooks and another training pack. So it looks to be very similar to how Madden 19 was set up except hopefully a much better game. A 10 coin quick sell, 10K coin quick sell. Here again, series packs reward. Now we got an 82 to 84 overall power pass, probably more towards level 40, more towards level 35, 40-ish in my opinion, because of how much lower overall should be. Another th diamond token. So I'm not sure how we're going to use these just yet. Maybe you need these tokens to do a set per diamond set. I don't know how that's going to work. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Now, 82 to 84 is really good. That's obviously you can use that on Saquon Barkley. Maybe like, I'm not entirely sure what the overalls are yet, and Antonio Brown, but these are pretty good. You can, with how low players are, that's going to be a very useful power pass. Now here we got the 83 overall fantasy pack and 81 overall. That should be TJ Watt, 23 on the lines. Oh, I'm not sure if that, might be Galladay or like Darius Slay. I'm not sure. I don't think Galladay's that high of an overall, and that's Miles Garrett. So again, a defensive end, not sure who that is, and that's TJ Watt. Now, that's a pretty good one right there. Miles Garrett. See, like, with the way it's looking right now, you could build a pretty good base squad with no money spent. That's kind of what I loved about these packs last year when I was no money spent is that there's... If you, if you level up to 50 within the first month, you have a pretty good base elite team to start just off the free rewards they give you. So that's really not that bad, in my opinion. And now here we got, obviously, more packs. So obviously, they're going to be giving away a lot of pro packs with leveling up as they have in years past. Now here we got... Christian McCaffrey, Zach Ertz, and Amari Cooper. Amari Cooper's an 82 overall. That's pretty good for him. I don't think he should be much higher considering Saquon Barkley's only an 83. Zach Ertz being an 84 McCaffrey. So again, if you don't want Barkley, you could get McCaffrey here. So there's a lot of room to get plenty of base elite cards to start the year. Just based off free packs. So I'm loving this so far. Here we got, let's see, we got the packs again. We have 25. That might be Brandon Marshall on the... Broncos, don't kill me if I'm wrong. New York Jets, might be Jamal Adams. And then 90, I think that's D-Law. So D-Law, Demarcus Lawrence is an 82. And then 84 is being that. That's really good if that's Jamal Adams. So right there, you could have Pat Tillman. You could have Jamal Adams locking up safety. You could already have Saquon Barkley, Christian McCaffrey. Like, just if you can get to level 50 in the first month, there's a lot of room for you to have things done already. Here we got Le'Veon Bell is an 85. So again, that's an awesome. And Russell Wilson. So you've got Le'Veon Bell and Russell Wilson, and Adam Thielen. I'm loving the players they're giving you so far because obviously Russell Wilson's always a top quarterback, so that's going to be a great mobile quarterback early. You also saw Cam earlier. So if you wait to this level up right here, which is probably closer to 50, is going to be Russell and Le'Veon. You could already have your quarterback running back tandem. And here's a premium gold pack, I'm assuming. I'm not entirely sure what they're going to... Just assuming it's gold premium, kind of says it. So that's not bad for free. 25K, 85 to 86 power pass, so that could be Le'Veon Bell right there too and a lot of other guys. I'm loving every bit of this so far. Now, here we got the 85s and the 83. So that is uh, Cameron Jordan, 21 on the Bron on the Cardinals. Mm. Who I can't really see that too well. Is that Jaguars right there? That might be Miles Jack. I don't know numbers, guys. So don't, don't, don't kill me. I don't know who that is. Maybe with that. I don't even know if he's still there. Don't kill me for that one. 87 to 88. So that is the level 50 reward. That is awesome right there because that is going to be an Aaron Donald type guy. A... Bobby Wagner type guy, unless they're 89s, because they have done that where the last power pass for the top level doesn't get you the top players just yet. But again, you get another token, but this is pretty awesome so far. I'm loving what I'm seeing. We already got 88 overall power passes. 
you can get this within the first month. You could easily have one of the best cards in the game, a very solid lineup. And if you open some packs and play some solos, this is looking like another year for no money spec guys easily. I'm guessing this is what they're going to look like. So the elite gold, silver, and rookie players are going to be blue. Same thing as last year. The programs, that should be journey. Don't know what that is. I think that's training. I'm not that might be Mutt Master. Let's see what else we got. Okay, simple, you know, the uniforms and the um, the Madden Championship coaches. We obviously got the pre-order players. You guys know that already. Aikman, um, Emmett Smith, and I believe maybe Owens. Don't kill me for that. We got Mahomes, Rice, and Jalen Ramsey. And then we got the Mutt Leaks for the draft. Let's see, Mutt Draft is six games, 40K, 60 trophies, one red zone pack, three midfield, two Hail Marys. That is pretty good, honestly. If you can... If you're really good at Madden and you know you're going to beat people anyways, you can hop onto this mode early in the year, get a ton of trophies. Hopefully, as a John Madden type coach again to get. But guys, that is about it. So guys, that is about it for the news. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this is useful. I hope I got it out in time for you guys to see this. Guys, I'm so excited for Madden 20. It is literally days away. I believe we're about 48 hours away from the EA Access release. I will be making a video on how to play the most EA Access you can with 50 hours. I got to get that done hopefully today or tomorrow so you guys can do that. Also, I'll be making tons of videos the first week, pack openings, gameplays, tips, coin methods. I'll be doing it all. I'm going to expand my reach this year to not just coins and not just some gameplays. I'm doing everything. Hopefully, this is our year, guys. We have two days to get into this. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out. See you guys in Madden 20 or another video if I do one.